Hi guys, I'm Liviu and welcome back to my channel. As you may all know, I'm into electronics repairs and I've always wanted a tool that I was hoping to help me in uh, diagnosing broken stuff, especially large boards where it's pretty difficult to pinpoint exactly what's wrong with it, especially if a component is broken and it's heating up too much. And this is why I am going to talk today about the thermal imaging camera. This is from Banggood, it's named HTI and HT02 is the model. This is the temperature range it can um, show you and the resolution of the screen is 60 by 60. Now let's see if we can use this to pinpoint what's broken on a PCB. But I always imagined that small PCBs like this would be more complicated to pinpoint on this particular model which costs around $200 so it's not a top tier thermal imaging camera but it does the job at least I hope so obviously you will find all the necessary links down into the description and please don't forget to push that subscribe button and notification bell for future videos Let's take the thermal imaging camera, which by the way works on normal AA batteries, four of them actually, and let's power it on. And we have here our little ESC, which is a KISS 24 amp ESC, an OG ESC. You can change here from more image leaking into the thermal thing or only thermal and this is only the image camera so let's power on the ESC I know that this ESC has a broken MCU so we should see the general area of the MCU which is this one over here we should see it light up in uh, red. I, I think it's red. So let's see it. Yep, we already see it heating up. And it's heating up way over the limit. It already has like 50 degrees or something like that. And that's pretty toasty to the hand. So we know that that is completely flight. I am going to power off my power supply now. Obviously the ESC will um, remain hot for a while. And if I switch here, I can already see that the ESC itself is catching a lot of heat from that MCU and the maximum temperature right now is 42.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we saw this one. Now let me desolder these wires. By the way, Let's see if it reads the iron. Yep, it's over 300 because my iron is set to 350 right now. So, yep. But I do see a small... I don't know if you can notice it or not. But the iron is here and the temperature overlap is a little off. But that's not a big issue. But yeah, it reads 300. That's pretty interesting. And now I have here connected a KISS V2. That redness we see there is because I've just soldered the cables on the PCB itself. So the PCB is way warmer than the surrounding area. And I will need to cool it. Well, almost. But we can go into the menu and change the color graphs. And we should see now red only when the temperature goes pretty high. So let's see if that's the case. Yep, we see that green. And the max temperature is 30.7 degrees Celsius. 
I know that this FC also has the MCU killed, so we should see that black MCU get hot. I just power on. Yep, it's going up. And if I put my hand on it, I can feel it warm. So, but obviously we will have a regulator, which is going to be heating a lot. Yep, which is this one here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Obviously you could use this uh, thermal imaging camera for all sorts of uh, interesting things, like checking out if you have temperature leaks in your home and stuff like that and just uh, fooling around. For example, look, this is my phone. The temperature difference is not that great. Or for example, my hand. Can I heat up this uh, ESC <laughs> in my hand? Let's see if the PCB gets a little bit hotter. Yep. It did retain some heat. Overall this camera is pretty neat and you can do a lot of things with it. Especially when you work on big PCBs like laptops or stuff like that. You can pinpoint what's uh, heating up pretty fast and yeah. It could be a very good tool in your arsenal. I hope you liked this uh, small video and till the next time. Bye.